Hey guys, this video we're going to be diving into the architecture behind Notice and how I used some of the functionality in Rails to guide my direction on building this. So Notice, if you aren't familiar, is a notifications library for Rails. I built this in the last couple of weeks and it's turning out pretty great and I'm really happy with where it's at. But basically, you can define a notification model and then tell it the different mechanisms you want to deliver with. Um, for example, you want to deliver with the database, action cable, or over email, and you can define some helpers and other things like whether or not your user wants to receive the notification by email. So you can disable that and turn it off if the user does not want that. So this functionality is pretty handy and it's something that you might find useful, um, but this deliver by uh, organization was what I wanted to cover in this video. So right now we have deliver by database, deliver by action cable, and so on. And this is not what I started with when I began to write this. So let's take a look at um, some code to take a look at how we can tackle this. So let's imagine we have a notification class and um, we want to add some methods from a gem to this so that we can make that work. So originally, I was going to have you define a class and you would include like a noticed um, module into it and we would define a module named noticed and you could define some things like um, what you wanted it to be delivered by. And so you might say include noticed delivery methods database and inside here we would have a module delivery methods and uh, don't worry too much about the spelling here uh, database so you know this would be the main module it would include all the base things that we needed and then include the database and while this is fine I didn't love it um, one of the nice things is that if you had a method here inside of database for uh, format for database. You could have this, you know, write whatever attributes into a hash that gets written to the database. And you could just simply override that inside of your class. And that was going to be real easy to customize. I wanted this to be very flexible and something that would feel natural in a Rails environment. And this is a really good thing because we can go and override this method change whatever we want. We could even call super and merge into that our changes, all kinds of different options. That would work pretty well, but it wasn't really what I wanted because the second that you define a method in here, like um, save, for example, then you're going to override any save method on the main notice module.